so by the end of the video you should be able to make something like this okay so let's go right into it and I'm using Photoshop 2021 and uh, um, you can do this so the first thing that we have to do is that we just have to create a new file okay um, we can go by we can go with 1920 by 1080 yeah just put in make sure the rotation is in portrait and the resolution 300 okay so we have something like this now the first thing that we need we need some some out of a gradient that we can actually work with so we can come here first and just just set the gradient can just pick a color and um, another one maybe a lighter one okay so we come and then we just select the gradient so we have that just come to the basics we select the one that we've actually created um, uh, let's see there let's make this place a little bit darker Okay, so we have something like that. Um, okay, so you can choose how dark we want it. So I think this is fine. So we just click OK. So this is gonna be the background. So that a background. So next thing that we need is the we need trees. And then Photoshop 2021 and latest version, we already have that inbuilt into the software itself. So let's just create a new layer come to filters and uh, to render and you see you have trees here okay so we have a list of trees that we can um, go through and uh, we just select one okay so let's let's go for the pine tree um, we just choose that one and just press okay so now what we're trying to do is that we want a brush preset we want to turn this pine tree into a brush that we can use and um, just to be painting around the canvas so what we have to do is that first of all let's lock this layers you can just press alt and lock the other ones and then uh, we want the silhouette of this so just a black and white picture of it so we come to here and saturation just bring that down um, we have that here so we come to edit and yeah, I think you yeah, define brush preset. Now we just give the precept a name, uh, maybe three brush. Okay, so now this tree is actually a brush now. But you can see if you, the opacity is at let's put the opacity at hundred. It's now a brush that we can use and paint around. So we come back to our layers. Um, we just select this. We don't need this, so we just delete it. Mm, the same thing with the hue saturation. We just delete. We delete that one off. So we have these two layers um, to work. Now, the next thing that we need is that we need sort of like a heel that, yeah, a heel sort of, okay? It's something circular. Like, see the one I did here before? we have a heel sort of here so we just come back and let's save our work background, background design okay um so now to create the heel we can just use the ellipse tool yeah we come to the select tool and use the ellipse tool and just um just create uh, hold down Alt and just drag it like that and we can bring it down where we want now we need to give this um, particular color so what we're going to do is just we're going to go back here to the same place and we give it a, a gradient we're going to go to the basics we we'll select the same gradient okay just click OK so here yeah, we can leave it this way like that so that's it so this is going to be the heel um, so you have the, the heel there now the next thing we want is that 
we want to draw our trees so we need to create another layer where we're going to actually draw the the trees okay now we come to our brush okay so it is automatically selected and then we click on the trees layer and you see if you click on it it's blue so we have we have to change the color um, what you can do is just press d so when you press d it automatically it takes a black and white away so you can actually draw the brush in black and white so you can press now uh, you see by default the tree the pine tree that we created the brush for the pine tree is the one that is selected here yeah, the bottom tree brush here okay okay we just have to draw a brush you can resize the brush and um, make it big and okay so now we want our tree to be behind the the hill so if you can just make it maybe a little bit smaller select another one here smaller trees here okay so we have something that we can that we can work with so this is the the trees layer and um, so the next thing that we need to do is that we need um, sort of like a moon. We are just going to name this layer moon. Okay. So go back, select the select tool, and make sure you're selecting the elliptical marquee tool, and just hold down Alt and Shift, and you draw your moon depending on the size of how you want the moon to look like. So we come here, and we we'll select the color. Let's go for yellow, but a little bit here. So up there and um, click OK. So now in order to see what you've done, the color just press the Alt and back space. Just press the Alt and back space. And it's automatically created for you. Press Control, um, Control and B. And so you see our moon is in front of there. So we need to pick our moon behind the trees and behind the hill. So there you have it. So, but now we want to give this moon a little bit of glow to it. So what you have to do is just press Alt to so create the duplicate of this layer. It's going to be the, the moon, the glow. Okay, so click these two layers and just group them. Control G. You can name that as moon. So we'll go back to layer. On the glow here, we want to come to filters and uh, yeah, blow. Then we'll give it a Gaussian blow. Okay, so it gives it that blur sort of uh, depending on the amount that you actually you like so we have an effect that gives you a, a glowing moon sort of okay and then the next thing we might need to do is that we might have we might want another layers for um the stars okay so you just name this as stars okay now click on the stars click your brush to just select the normal um, we don't want to just go for a normal brush Okay, so we just have to reduce the size down make it really very small Okay. So we have that here. And We can increase it make it increase it a little bit so we just have sort of like smaller stars and Increase the size a little bit. Okay. So there you have. We have that there. And um, what else do we need? Okay. So if you wanted like to space this tree a little bit, I want to push this tree a little bit back. So what I can do is just hold, select the marquee tool, and just select this place of it. Right click and cut via layer. So it becomes another tree here. Three, two. So I select this one and this one. Just Control G, group them as trees. Now we come to the trees. We select this one. We can actually move. Sorry, go back to the move tool and so we can put it back a little bit. Now we come to our hill. To the hill, we want at least let there be a little bit of grass. It's too straight and plain. So um, all we have to do is there. We go back to the brush tool. Um, select the brush. Um, we want to use the legacy brush. So here, in this legacy brush, we have some precepts of brush that is actually grass. If you don't have this, just right click on this place and click legacy brush, and then it's going to cover 
come up for you okay and um so that's the one we want to use here so this is the legacy brush and we're looking for something grass in nature okay so we have that here dune grass so we do that here so we click on the layer now we don't want to work in this particular place of it what we, what we want to do is that we want to come here to the max of it the, click on this place here and we just draw our leaf over it so you can reduce the size depending on what you're actually looking for make it bigger if you want make it smaller and then we have okay so we have something like that we can also click here just um, reduce this uh, rotate it so we have a variety of um, a variety of grasses okay hmm. so that's it so what else do we need to do we need to brighten up this background perhaps with a little bit of animals okay so i'll just go to the desktop um so if we select any of them we have a deer here now if you want some of these presets you can go to um pixabay um, dot com so you can have a list of um, images or different kinds of pixel in uh, png uh, images there okay for this one i screenshot it from a video that's why it's like this or well, normally it shouldn't have the background but still we can deal with this so if you have an image that looks like this don't worry you can still fix that up in photoshop um, i did this intentional to show you so what we just have to do is that we come to the select tool and just click select and max so select subject and the algorithm is going to go through the artificial intelligence okay and select the subject for us and then we just come here we don't want that white you see the whiteness we can just move there it could be a nice effect we could just move in out okay so that's it so we have our so that's our idea there mm -hmm. now we have the hill we have the trees we have the moon, we have the stars, we have the deer. Now what we want with this, we can go to the hill and just lock it so we don't move things around. And, um, and the trees too, we can just lock that up so it's in one place. So we come to the deer and um, it's nice the way it's like, but I want it to be a little bit, maybe white, sort of, okay? So what I'm going to do is that, um, what do we do here? Okay, so we want it to be maybe somehow white sort of. What we can do is that we can just come here and then um, choose um, hue and saturation. Come back to the layers, press Alt, just in between the lines, in between these two um, layers, just click on it so it attached to this layer now and um, so we just double click here just make that black sort of okay so we have that um we have that now but well let's make it glow a little bit so uh, to make it glow i found a technique that works you can just go to the fx then drop shadow Give it a little bit of drop shadow and then it glows a little bit. So just select the color that you want. You want to go up gone with red or any other color, just gives it. And then you can choose the opacity, how much you want it to glow. And so something like that. Okay, so we have that. Now we need it to have sort of like a, a shadow. So you can just press Alt and duplicate it. But now you see it creates the one so just take that one off and bring this back there um we take this one we want to come to the edit transform we want to flip that vertically so there you have it okay um so what we want to do is that 
we don't need the, uh, the drop shadow we want to click on this one just come to the brush tool um, select the normal brush yeah and um, click on it it's going to tell you to rasterize the same object just rasterize it and um, so we want to click on this and then the hardness put the hardness at zero and um, you want to just that painting over but you're going to paint on this other layer the max layer but you see now it's giving you black sort of so what you just have to do is switch this layer so now you can make sure the hardness is zero the opacity you can reduce the opacity so it's not too harsh you just increase the, brush, the size of the brush so, um, this works better if it's on water if you're dealing perhaps with a you're designing something and then a reflection on water it's going to look pretty good so that's it so we have that so we can also bring in another image let's say the other beer um so just click select um select and max select subject we have a subject there reduce that down okay click on that Bring it down. So we bring that down there and then we want to flip this. So come to edit and uh, the transform tool and just flip horizontally. Okay. So there we have it. So what we want to do is let's just create a duplicate of this so we don't have to go through the same process of the shadow. And we just to edit transform and uh, yeah, flip now come to edit transform and flip vertically okay so that this is going to be a shadow so we come on this one and we come to the fx now before we go to the fx let's just go to the fx and we have that i want to show you another way of doing so instead of going through the process of adding hue and saturation like what we did before you can just come to color overlay when you click on color overlay you can just give it a color of white okay so you don't have to go through the the same process that we did for the the same one okay now we have the this is it so we just we can just rotate this a little bit so it Um, just want to rotate that so it fits. Okay, good. We have that. Click on it. Select our brush D. Just rasterize and just start painting. Make sure you click on the max layer and just paint over it. Yeah, something like that. So use your discretion and just go about that. Okay, we can just click it there again. Brush, select this layer. Freshness of it, the cons. Okay. I want to come here, do the same thing. The brush just reduce. It looks too harsh at this. The edges, the top there. So we just delete those parts off. Okay, select it, push it a little bit. Um, you just want to move that a bit so it blends with it. Okay, there you have it. So, next thing that we do the same thing for the trees too. Okay, so we come to the trees. So, we've locked our tree, so we have to unlock that. And then, um, so we select the tree. Um, control shift control v we have a copy of the, the tree there we want to flip the tree to transform and just flip it vertically so that's our tree now we want the tree to be on top so just press shift and the bracket open so we take it to the top layer so here's our tree there um we can just rotate it a little bit just to give it some Kind of feeling so that's it so i know another way of doing it. so instead of like using the brush tool 
what another thing that you could have do is just you could just reduce the the opacity level, sort of, okay? So you can just reduce the opacity of the of the tree. That's if you don't want to use the the brush tool. So you just reduce its opacity there. There you have it. You can just mm, let's copy this for this tree to just let it transform. Let's flip it. There. So we have that there. So it's beginning to look very um, distracting. I can just um, click here, brush it out. Okay. Click on this one too. I'm gonna brush that. Trees, brush. Okay, so you don't want it to be too um, distracting. Okay, so there we have it. We have that there. And then, so that's it. You've created a beautiful um, background, sort of. You can come to the moon. Just come here to the layer. Press Control T. So you can move at the same time. So now you can choose how you want your moon to be like okay so it could be like it's it's setting it's rising okay there you have it so it can be on top it can be wherever you want it to be so another last thing i want to show you is that you can come down to add, um change the um the way this looks in fact completely so we can come here and just add some UN saturation, so you see, so you can add, you can even make this a morning scene, like it's something happening in the morning. You can change the background, depending on what you want, the feeling of everything. Okay, so that's it. So you can just give a little bit of boom, boosting. So depending on what you want to do, you have that there. Okay, so that's just an extra feature that you can use. So you have that. So that's what you can do. So I hope you love this video. Please feel free to subscribe, share, and like the video. Okay, so we'll meet again. Please leave your comments if there's something you want me to um, d design or work on later. Okay, so we can use this in a game. We can use this in a animation, story, film, and all of those things. So see you later. Bye.